surprise me, nearly 1,100 people a day are going to end up in the ER this fall with raking related injuries. And that's because people don't think it's as strenuous as shoveling snow, but actually it sure can be. So joining us now is Dr. Kim Litwack from Advanced Pain Management, nurse practitioner. Correct. Right? Have that right? And you're going to tell us how we can avoid a trip uh, to the doctor because of raking. I'm surprised this, ha what, this happens to a lot of people, huh? They, it does. It does. People don't anticipate, as you mentioned, how strenuous it can be. Okay, and Jenny is here to demonstrate for us. Now, one of the secrets is the type of rake we use. Tell us about that, Kim. Well, Jenny's got two rakes here. Okay. Um, one, as you can see, is way taller than she is. The other's more appropriately sized. And it's going to be important to choose a rake that's the right height for you because what happens is if you choose the wrong rake, you're going to end up doing a lot more bending than you would. So, Jenny, let me have the short one for a minute. Okay. Show me... Sh so if she's using a long rake, she's going to be doing a whole lot of bending and reaching and working really hard. Right. So it's going to make her work much harder than if she uses an appropriate size rake. She's able to keep her back straight and do more with her upper bo upper body. Okay, so the types of things that can happen are, are, are what? Basically strain? It's mostly muscle strains, okay. aches and pains. Kind of when you go out shoveling too much the first snow, right. repetitive injury. And why do you suppose we've got a minute left? Why do you suppose people don't think of that? I mean, because you know, a lot everyone knows, oh, I got to be careful shoveling snow. But why, why are we so clueless about uh, raking injuries? Because leaves don't weigh anything. You <laughs> yeah, just go okay. out there and you're looking at them and you start a little and you're doing part of your lawn and the next thing you know you're doing more of the lawn and more of the lawn. Okay, so let's recap in 30 seconds. The point is make sure you pick the, the right rake and what's the most important thing again? You want to have the appropriate size rake, warm up before you do it, not a lot of reaching and bending. And if I can save you one bit of, uh, or one last energy tip, rake onto a, a, a tarp so okay. you don't have to keep lifting. Oh, that's a great one. That's a really good idea. Re re avoid that repetitive, repetitive motion. Repetitive, exactly. Right. Now, I know Advanced Pain Management has some uh, tips on its website, so we will put a link at newslinks at NBC15.com to that to help keep you and your back safe because, you know, I spend a lot of time watching football. I don't want to be uncomfortable there you with go. a bad back. That's All right, right. Kim, thank you so much. Jenny, thank you. Happy thank you. raking and happy raking to you. We'll be right back.